How do we make a bigger impact with our content on LinkedIn? Hello, I'm Dean Seddon, CEO and founder of Maverick, and we help coaches, experts, consultants, freelancers win more clients on LinkedIn by leveraging their expertise without selling their soul to social media or spending hours sales pitching strangers. So I want to talk about five main reasons your content might be struggling to make an impact and these tiny changes that you can make will make a huge difference in the performance of your content. So uh, having done this for a long time, I can tell you there's some key things that show up time and time again in people's content that stops them reaching the right people, stops them getting the engagement from the right people. If your goal on LinkedIn is to get clients, content is a key part of that. It's not the only part, but it is a key part. So let's look at these five things that could be stopping you from winning clients on LinkedIn and using your content to create impact. So number one, most people miss this. It is an unfocused network. What do I mean? Well, we've all had our LinkedIn for years, right? So we'll have changed jobs, changed industries, changed ICPs, and we've built up this big network of contacts. Now, here's the most important thing. When you post, the algorithm will show your content to a small number of your network, a tiny amount, and it will judge your content primarily based on how they respond. So let's say, for an example, you've been in cybersecurity for decades and you've got a ton of cybersecurity contacts, but now you're shifting to marketing. So you were talking about cybersecurity for ages and now you shift and you're talking about marketing. Guess what? If the algorithm shows your content to your old crowd, it, they might show no interest whatsoever and that post doesn't get the reach and visibility simply because it didn't resonate with parts of your network. So an unfocused network can actually harm your content. A big network with lots of irrelevant people to who you are right now, who you are today, can actually harm you. So go through your network and see who's no longer relevant. Do I need these people connected? It's not about connection numbers. It's about being connected with the right people. So don't let the algorithm almost penalize you because they're showing the content to the wrong people. Point number two, and this is another biggie, is an unfocused message. So I see lots of people trying to appeal broadly. The problem is that you can't cut through and show your relevance to the people who will pay you ideal clients. So I see people talking about how to grow a business, how to do this, how to do that. And that's all cool. But if your audience doesn't see immediately that it's for them, if they if your content isn't clearly showing who it's for, why they should pay, pay attention and what they will gain from it, you're missing the mark. People are scrolling on LinkedIn all the time, looking. They don't know what they're looking for. They don't know what they're looking to find. Your content in the feed has to show them it's for them, specifically for them. If you want CEOs of technology companies to pay attention to your content, make your content for them and show them it's for them. Make it clear it's for them so that people go, this is for me, I will pay attention. Not, this is for everybody, so I'm not sure it's relevant for me. People will pay more attention if it's obvious, stark obvious, that it's for them specifically. Point three, it's just your content's just too long. Now, typically, uh, most people don't spend a lot of time on content. So most content is consumed in less than three seconds. So most people's views are three second stops. Now we think, well, hang on, if I increase the length of the copy, if I make the post longer, people will pay attention for longer. That isn't always true. It's about keeping people for up to 60 seconds. So try and deliver your content in 60 seconds or less. 
We think that longer content equals bigger views. It's not the case. If you wanted to have an amazing post, the average view count would probably be about 30 to 40 seconds. So deliver the value in that time. What happens if you overwhelm people with copy? They check out. A bit like you go to a meal and you get that really huge plate full of stuff. It can be overwhelming. So keep it short, keep it snappy. Of course, your loyal followers and your loyal audience will pay attention to long form content. But if you're trying to bring new people into your world and demonstrate value to new people who are not diehard fans of yours, you want to do some short stuff too. Number four, you're making it too complicated. Complex language, um, too busy, simple content performs the best. So I see people struggling with this a lot. They want to unpack a major topic in one post and they can't do the justice to it. And so the post ends up longer, yes, but it also ends up more complicated, more technical. And the problem is complicated posts require an invested audience. So simple content, uh, cutting out the waffle, eliminating unnecessary words, making the formatting of the post easy to read. Big chunky paragraphs puts people off. Make it simple, easy to read. Use some emojis to break up the copy, but don't go too far because it creates noise. Avoid complication in the way you write your copy. Great little tools in Google and Word that will look at your readability score and bring that down. But make it simple and easy to read and avoid complication. And if you've got a big topic, there's nothing to stop you unpacking it over a series of posts rather than trying to tackle it all in one go. So make it simple and avoid complication. And finally, the big one is you're not creating a discussion. So the best content gets people sharing their opinions. The bad content is usually broadcasting. In other words, transmitting information, pumping out propaganda. So what you want to do is, is create more conversations, share ideas, ask people what they think, share some opinions so that, and invite people to share their opinions. Discussion is what makes content fly. So have a look through your posts. Are you asking questions? Are you sharing ideas? Are you inviting other people's opinions? Are you actively trying to get people to share their opinions with you? This is key to driving more impact and driving more visibility and more engaging content that you are creating those discussions. So make it a key objective of some of your content to actually go, this piece this piece of content is to actually drive discussion and invite opinions. It's not for me to share my information. It's actually to get people talking. And you write posts and you create posts in a very different way when you're trying to get people talking. Now, there is a place for broadcasting information. When you're promoting your offer, you're obviously directly telling people what you do and how you help. And that's cool. And you must do that. But if that's all you do, you don't create the discussions, you don't create the impact, and you don't create the reach. So these are my five key things that could be holding back your content. And if you fix these and focus on these things, you will create way more impact, reach more people, and have more positive conversations with your content.